far as, as far as the journey. What is this? This is Stark Sam as a Mii sword fighter. Okay. What a really ugly Mii anyway. Oh! Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, we're going to FD, game one. Yeah, what a weird choice for it to be a first pick. I mean, which character do you think would have the advantage, like hypothetically speaking? Uh, definitely Mii sword fighter. I think Samus do excellently well with platforms. She yeah. does seasonally well with um, without it. Yeah, I think it's more so to um, to Dark Samus's like aerial movement and aerial mix-ups. And right now, Kuro seems to be doing that pretty well. Um, but Re immediately racking up that damage. That's like a quick thirty percent. Literally, Re has not been doing anything that's aerial stuff and stuff with that in air. Literally, anything's been grounded, grounded neutral beast, anything that's people in. <laughs> yeah, ooh, and that upbeat uh, did not hit. Unfortunate. Kira putting him on stage, uh, trying to reflect the rocket. Oh, here's the key thing about this. Reflector being a useful thing against this matchup. Yeah, because um, Dark Samus with the charge shot and also the blaster. Uh, exactly. Oh, getting a spike. Yeah, but that, he, had, oh, yeah, he had the setup too. He had the bomb setup just in case uh, he did actually get to ledge, uh, but he covered that with downer anyway. Than that, getting even 35% off of that blast. Yeah, quick. Cool. And Kuro already privy to the reflector, immediately jumping over as soon as you shot that blast. Ree's trying to find his kill here, but he doesn't look like he's getting approaches to do it. Yeah, um, that up is not active, correct? The up is not active after the first frame, is it? Nah, even no. then it probably like be kid, even if it's grounded. Yeah, because it's not like links, so. It's not. Alright, put him on stage. So, oh! oh yeah, the, yeah, that chakra. I was about to say, I've never seen the chakra from kill ever. There but it is. That tornado setup is definitely going to kill. Yeah, that's a, that's really nasty. Yeah, I believe that confirms anywhere from 100% and over, on Dark Samus at least, right? At yeah. the ledge. Especially when you come up at the bottom. Mm hmm. Right, so Farron, how's he going to land? Using the initiative to the down base to mix up his landing. Yeah, and um, Re being a little bit impatient because Kuro basically just stalled out uh, his aerial landing and waited until Re threw out a attack just to whiff. Just a whiff on him. Down to it and he gets a fair con true combo, by the way. And then subject to landing. Can wow, he get the confirm? He got the hit inside. I don't think he expected to get the inside hitbox like that. Looks yeah. like he hesitated a little bit. Oh, nice job. I didn't air dodge. Whoa, where are you going there, buddy? I <laughs> yeah, think he drifted a little bit too far, yeah. and he lost his dock for that. Out of point. You can never, like, those little mistakes like that can happen, they can cost you a life. Yeah, especially mistakes at the ledge. And that was do it. mistakes at the ledge, uh, we have an even game. Yeah. All right, this is coming really clutch here. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Ree's having a hard time trying to get the kill confirmed sometimes. Uh, Kira will... Uh, Maybe get a little stray hit here and there would actually end up getting the kill. I think maybe Kuro will get the kill here, maybe. Yeah, and it seems like Kuro at this point is um, just mixing up Re right now and making him throw out the reflector so he can get some type of punish or at least close space on Re. I think he's kind of getting overwhelmed by the projectiles Re has, so. Which is, could be one of the downsides to this matchup to him not knowing about what this matchup is about. He is keeping him off stage, not letting him play the game at all, so that's good. Yeah, he's throwing out a lot of hitboxes and trying to put a lot of bombs down just to get a neutral get up punish. And you see he's going for that down angle uh, forward tilt to try to catch him coming back to Lich. And he's working it well for him. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Alright, good parry. That's what's happening here. So I'll say, you know what? For Re, 30 more percent, and Kuro can die at the Lich. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ooh, oh, and there you go. Right. And, and he could die at the ledge right now. Yeah, this could be the pro chance here. Tornado yeah. set oh, up. You that's died. it. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, oh. my god, and just like that. Uh, he kind of threw that away with those last three interactions. Yeah, he got really scared from that tornado happening out of nowhere. Uh, he he saw the tornado coming, but it's like, oh, I see tornado. I'm going to avoid this one. Oh. Yeah, I think he meant to go to ledge, and he was way too far on stage and actually landed on the stage. Yeah. Got punished for that. Unfortunate, but good stuff by Ree. Um, you know, just staying to the course of the game, you know, not really changing his gameplay much and just, you know, changing. You know, just keep keep pushing forward. I like how he's catching the landing using Tornado too. That last time was kind of crucial. Using that Tornado to catch a landing and not only that, catch the landing to confirm the kill. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really good. Clutch up game from him. 161%. No big deal for Ree. Um, Alright, but it's the same characters here. Yep, same characters. 
Dark Salmon. Yeah, no change here. So we're going to want this stage to be Battlefield. I think Battlefield would be really good for Dark Salmon. It's catching, uh, doing a lot of up air jugglings here and there. Yeah, and just just more landing mix-ups um, for Dark Samus in general. Because yeah, uh, he could... Dark Samus could do a lot of those morph ball things um, with the platforms, but it doesn't matter if you're going to get hit by Tornado. Yeah, he had no jump. I think Reed uh, caught that, that he had no jump after, after he got hit by Tornado. It's like, oh, no jump? Oh, he's going to hit you. Yeah, and this is one thing that Samus is going to excel in this matchup is um, sharking with up air through the platforms. Exactly. I get the grab here, goes the down throw, couldn't get the confirm out of that for fair. But he's not up here. Extending the combo, just done juggling. Yeah. Um, but right now, Re has him at kill percent, and then Lucky reacted in time. And reacted yep. that time. There <laughs> it is. <laughs> Alright, Re is something a big lead here. It seems 7% isn't that much of a big lead, but it is a really good moment to get in stuck early. Yeah. Well, much better start than last game. Get the reflector up in there. Alright. Hero needs to wake up here and try to get for, uh, get a kill here. Add more percent here and get a kill. Up you yeah. got a shield, not gonna do it just yet. Because it gets a fair, almost killing. Oh yeah. Oh, even using a reflected to uh, reflect the down beam. Yeah, it just seems like Kuro is trying to push forward and get something started and Ri isn't really letting that happen. It seems like every time he's pushing forward, he's getting tagged by a down tilt or something. Yeah. But as you say that, Kiro getting the 4 to kill there. 82%, that's a big leap to make a comeback. Yeah. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah, right now he's off to an alright start, you know, up he had a shield. Get netting him like a quick 13%. Um, but Ryu with these snipes, with these uh, chop from snipes. Oh, nice. He's in the early up B. Gets some hit in there. Yeah, it's funny because uh, usually when people see an up B like that, you think of Lynx where it just kind of drags you into it and you <laughs> just explode. But Yeah. I always assume he'll go for a spike there. Nice, reversing the up B to get the kill. Yeah, and just like I said, dragging him into that, um, into that up B. Hero definitely did not see that coming. All right, gets the Nancy jab. Yeah. Pain 21%. Yeah. Jumps up there, and he has... Oh, there we go. It just seems like Kuro doesn't know what to do when he's at the ledge. And Ri's just like, you know, taking advantage of that. Yeah, he's getting really overwhelmed by Ri when he's uh, pressuring out on the ledge, flash trapping him, whatever it projects out he throws in. Yeah, it just and like Ri's winning all these mid-range battles also. Here's the thing, when he when they're like really close to each other, Ri does a down tilt. Oh! Would that do it? Yeah, that would do it. Yeah, and the thing about uh, me swordsman down tilt, that is, it is plus on shield. So, seems like every time you check them with that down tilt and Koro press the button, yeah. he's getting hit. Getting That's hit with something. Crazy. Me sword fighter? What a crazy character. Yeah. Confirming crazy. up to the uppie. You could not, you couldn't even try to SE out of that. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a crazy minigame you have to play against that character, man. It was good. <laughs>